this is Alex. Um, for my next trick, I've um, been trying to pick this Dom IX5KG, uh, which I'm not going to try to pronounce the rest of the stuff on the box. Uh, it's a Dom lock, dimple lock um, with an active element and a whole bunch of possibly active or passive side pins and little dimply things. Since I don't really know what's active or not in there and what other landmines um, could be inside, I'm going to gut it. So, uh, yeah, so we'll get to see what's inside. Okay, so here are the, oops, here are the pin tumblers. I'll start out with those. Um, there are five of them. Um, and first one, well, the key pins are, um, three of them are normal, and two of them are spool slash mushroomy kind of things. They taper a little bit here, so maybe call that a mushroom. Uh, top pin, oh, and the, this, dri this pin and this driver are, um, have drill rod in them steel. Um, this driver and this driver, so one and five, have um, like a little counter milling or like a little serration down at the bottom. It's very, it's kind of hard to see, but um, it probably makes it act a little serrated. But the ones I thought were just crazy, crazy pins were these guys um, at th three and four. And it's basically a long spool with three little discs um, floating on it. And, uh, and they all move around independently. So I guess it's gonna act kind of like a, kind of like a spool, kind of like a serrated. Um, you know, I don't, don't really, I can't find my smaller tweezers, but you can see they just jiggle around in there. So um, I've never seen a pin like that before, but that is super cool. So here's a close up of the plug. This is the top. Um, your, um, your key pins go in here, we've got a drill protection there. And then there are these two additional millings. Um, and those correspond to um, a, uh, the, the active pin and um, it's in what appears to be a pin that, pr that provides drill protection. Okay. So here's the uh, plug and I've installed those two pins. So this guy here is just drill protection for this guy. Um, or maybe it allows him to put an active element in this position as well, but this doesn't really do anything. It doesn't, um, doesn't stick into the pin chamber. Um, well, maybe it does, but it doesn't interact with anything. So um, if I put the key in, key lifts up on this one. This one basically stays put, okay? So you should be able to see this pin go up just a, just a hair, like half a millimeter. But that's enough to cause it to press this little driver against this little spring up far enough for it to clear the shear line and for the plug to turn. And this little driver um, is, um, let's just say he's got a pretty, He's very small, but he has a little spool on him, so he's going to want to get okay. stuck. The depth of field is really shallow at this uh, at this macro range, but with the light in there, you can see between pin chambers four and five, and there actually are six chambers there. Um, they didn't choose to use all of them, but between four and five, there is an additional hole. And uh, let's see. That angle you should be able to see okay yeah there's an additional hole and inside that hole lives a driver and a pin or a driver and a spring I should say and those go down into um, that milling that we just looked at um, between positions four and so five. So the way the key works the active element is there's this little ball bearing that's embedded inside the key and when that goes into the lock and the bottom of the lock comes up and presses on it, it rises above the plane that it's in here on the key by just, you know, 32nd of an inch or something like that. But that's just enough to set that pin. 
that active pin. So a normal key, anything that would have fit in there, would, would not be able to have something at this level because it wouldn't pass the wards. So that's the active element. Okay, so if that weren't enough, Dom decided to add some additional key control. So the, there are these little holes in the side of the um, plug and these little pins that go in. In this particular one, you can see on the key, there's biddings at, at positions one and three. And so when the key goes in, you can get it in, you can see that when they're not lined up with the, uh, those holes in the key, the little dimples protrude, these little pins protrude out, and those engage with a milling inside the, the uh, plug. So I'll show you, if I haven't shown you already, I'll show you in a minute. And then when they come and they line up with those holes, they disappear into the holes. But they weren't done. No, no. If we rotate the plug another 90 degrees, and stuff falls out, there's more holes on the bottom. This is the opposite side from the from the uh, pin tumblers. And there's, in this particular lock, an additional pin that goes inside here, which fingers work better. Okay, and again, you can see when the key, go, key goes in, he sticks up when he's not on a dimple, but when this dimple comes in, he falls back in. Okay, so three additional key control pins, and obviously they could permute these however they wanted. They could put all sorts of combinations in there, but this one just happens to be set up that way. Okay, so let's take a look at the plug one more time and look at those grooves. So right here and right here, there are grooves that come down uh, about an inch, inch and a half down the, uh, down the cylinder and uh, down the, the shell. And that's where those profile pins engage. Um, so there's millings at, if this is 12 o'clock at nine and six. So that's it. This is the Dom IX5KG. There's a cool little card that comes with it. And a bunch of information on there. And uh, yeah. So um, maybe I'll be able to pick this lock now that I know what it looks in, inside, or maybe you will. Um, first I have to put it back together and that's not gonna be fun. <coughs> so anyway, um, thanks for watching. This is Alex and as always have fun and keep it legal. Cheers.